Peter, congratulations. Well done tonight. It's great to get those first three points on the board, obviously. Yeah, it was a disappointing start on Saturday and we needed to bounce back and I thought the boys showed fantastic character. Um, I didn't question the effort on Saturday and I certainly didn't question the effort tonight. So, um, But there were some very, very good things. There were also some things that we know we've got to get better at and at times we caused ourselves some problems. But it's also a difficult place to come and get a result. I think Hess is... Um, you know, produced a very, very good team here. They won a lot of headers, you know, and um, they, we, we took some defending. But I think the boys worked extremely hard as a unit. And the start was such a contrast to Saturday. I think it's fair to say that we came out of the blocks very quickly tonight. Well, I, I just knew there would be an, a, rea a reaction, you know, and uh, and I think the boys showed how committed they are and how much they wanted to, to bounce back. And uh, so there were some very good things. I know, that, to be fair, that Dover had some good chances, but we had some excellent chances in the first half and uh, there's a couple that I couldn't believe we didn't score um, so that was you know encouraging away from home uh, against a team that beat one, probably one of the best teams in the division on Saturday and then we you know we could have scored three four five goals uh, they could have scored exactly the same as well and we'll mention Luke from the off very good tonight very direct um, yeah. from the left created a goal for Balanta yeah how, how did you think he's... Yeah, I, I think, to be fair, I think Luke A and James Dobson also, you know, caused some threats from different different ways. You know, they're, they're different. They're right-footed left winger and a left-footed right winger. They're a little bit different. They go different ways and it's very hard for a full-back to mark them at times. So that's why I think we did create more chances. But I still also think maybe that's why we looked as though we were a little bit open as well because they were very attacking. Oh, that's, that's oh, interesting. That's not great, but we'll continue anyway. <laughs> we'll wing it. Um, and a word on Mitch Brundle. Coming back to his old yeah, club, like scoring he, the penalty. He tonight. had a he had a great time here. They've got a lot of respect for him here. Uh, they didn't want to lose him. We thankfully got him, uh, and he's a good player. He's a very good player. You know, he, he, the way he was very calm taking the penalty, but also he showed some other things where he nearly made another goal for us in the second half. So we're delighted to have him. Yeah, absolutely. And. We've got um, Manny and Harold missing tonight. Can you just give us a word on them? Slight yeah, got, uh, well, I think Harold got a whack on his knee on Saturday and it was too stiff to train Monday and too stiff to play tonight. Uh, and Manny's, Manny's not as bad, uh, but whether he's got a chance for Saturday, I think it's probably a little bit too early. Um, but And also Cheeky Candy's not that far away as well. So um, so that's a little bit of encouragement. I think Harold's going to be you know, a couple of weeks looking at him. Yeah, it's certainly good to hear about Cheeky. And like you say, we've got Saturday coming up. Game do come thick and fast. What yep. are your initial thoughts ahead of Saturday? Well, he's, I'm just, I'm delighted. I said to the players, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling when you come in training after a, a, a win, uh, and I think we've got that, you know, opportunity on Thursday morning when we come back to train to prepare for Halifax. We know it's another big game, uh, but we've proven tonight that we can play away from home on a good pitch uh, and and battle with the best. 100%. Well, congratulations again, Peter. Very Thank well you. Done.